brought to you by Cognito Motorsports. Also, Scott Smith, your independent Amsoil dealer. And Dragonfire, feel the heat. Also brought to you by Motorworks. on this track is drastic, causing a lot of different mixes up in the races. Absolutely, you know, the sun's out, it's gonna be a hot day, it's gonna be uh, very physically demanding as well. All the coverage of this race will be in the January issue of Dirt Wheels Magazine. It'll also be on dirtwheelsmag.com, all the photos, all the detailed specs on this car, all the action from today will be in that January Dirt Wheels. Scott Smith, your independent Amsoil dealer. SNS Enterprises. SNS Enterprises has 2012 sponsorships available for all racer levels. Contact Scott at the track or online at snsenterprisesonline.com for more information. Cognito Motorsports. Trucks, SUVs, and UTVs. Chevrolet, Dodge, Ford, GMC, Jeep, Nissan, Toyota, Polaris, Kawasaki, and Yamaha. At Cognito Motorsports, we build suspension systems, not just lift kits. Now we're here with Mark Mitchell from Speed.com. Mark's going to take our secondary race car here for a spin today at Glen Helen. Mark, what do you think about this? Boy, I'm excited, William. I can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Uh, looks like a really good course, been prepared really well. Some good competition out here. I'm looking forward to having a good time. Well, I'll tell you what, Mark, uh, the, the works racing crew, they always put on, do a great job laying out the track. Yeah, it felt really good in practice. I can't wait to get it out there in the heat of battle. It's going to be fun. All right, here we are at the start line for the UTV race here at Glen Helen. We're standing here with Mark Holes. How are you feeling? Are you ready for this Glen Helen track? Uh, yeah, ready to go. I was kind of waiting for it to get started. It's kind of hot sitting down here at the starting line. What do you predict? I don't know. It's tough to make a prediction here. There's a lot can go on in a 45-minute race. We'll see. We'll try to get a good start and stay up front. What are you doing, Yoke? Cleaning house, man. I was, uh, I was raised right. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I just, uh, you know, this uh, start's very critical here. You know, when in, in any race, and uh, you get this hard-packed, sandy soil, and uh, if I was going to take off, I'd rather take off fast instead of spinning because a half a car link, you know, sometimes when you got to cram it, I'd rather have a half than none. I'm standing here with Scott Kiger. He owns Coastal Drilling, and he's part of the National Guard team. When you're about ready to peek over that, you're coming around the turn, and, and uh, it starts to drop off. Are you going to pin it, or what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, you got to pin it. They, uh, there's too many competitive people here not to pin it. If you don't pin it, you'll be, you'll be in the back quick. The sport's grown so much that everybody's fast now, so it's that, it's that little bit that, that changes it, you know, who's, who's winning and who's in fifth. Well, let me ask you this. Do you think you can beat your... Your partner, uh, William Yokely? Oh, I'd put a bumper on him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I've uh, I've raced with William a long time, and I enjoy it. And, uh, and William's got a fast car, and William always drives well. But uh, we'll, we'll try to stay in there and keep it mixing up with him. We're about to start one of the craziest races there are, UTVs, here at Glen Helen. There are more than 40 cars here with three rows of Class 1, banging metal through the first turn, looking for that whole shot here in Glen Helen. At round seven of the Works Series side-by-side -side racing, we have, like every other class this weekend, another points battle going on. William Yokely has small points lead over second place Mark Holes. Yokely has little room for cushion, but all the room in the world for mistakes, knowing just how things happen in racing, meaning it's never over till it's over. 
rounding the notorious Talladega turn, heading into the motocross section off the track, it was all Bo Barron, grabbing the whole shot aboard his ATV, Riders.com Polaris 900, with Mark Holes and Ryan Piplick right on his heels. After making their way through the first few turns, William Yokely moved from fourth to second aboard his National Guard Coastal Drilling Racing Polaris to challenge Barron for the lead position from that point on. Battling for third, it was Piplick, Holes, and National Guard Coastal Drilling pilot Scott Kiger, behind Yokely and Barron. This racetrack was high speed and really choppy in sections, with many rocks floating around the track being yanked out of the ground by these fast moving machines. After coming out onto the Lucas Oil track course, it was Barron and Yokely starting to pull away from the rest of the pack with no sign of either driver letting up. Mark Holes was able to move into third place on the first lap and put his charge on to try and join the battle taking place in front of him. Scott Kiger moved into third place position, making his way up to the front when the torturous Glen Helen terrain caused a malfunction in the four-wheel drive of Scott's machine, forcing him as well to pull back on the reins and coming in for a fifth place position. Out in front, the battle for first place between Baron and Yokely was getting more intense as it was nothing but blood, sweat, and tears for these two guys, pounding off of each other in the corners and maneuvering through the lap traffic, only making things more intense for Baron, who was dealing with the pressures of getting past while trying to pass slower traffic. Baron was able to pull away from Yokely enough to have some breathing room and to go on in for the win. The name says it all. Dragonfire continues to crank up the heat when it comes to the best products in the UTV business. Dragonfire has everything from engines and suspension components to bolt-on accessories. So when you think of UT parts and accessories, think Dragonfire and feel the heat. SGR USA. Stags Racing is committed to our customers and love the sports we're involved in. We thrive to bring our customers the best bang for their hard-earned money. At SGR USA, we race what we sell. Offering our own line of race products, engines and performance parts, pit bikes, and pit bike parts. SGRUSA.com Bo Barron just won the UTV race. Bo, what happened out there? Dude, I got off to a really good start, and I just put my head down. Yokely was right behind me for uh, most of the moto, and I got around some lappers a little bit quicker than him, and I started pulling out. And then I don't know if it was a coincidence or what, but the Coastal Boys, like, some of his teammates, or at least one of them, was uh, ahead of me, kind of slowing me down, and so I, I kind of ran it in really hard on him. I'm hope he's, you know, not angry with me, but I just did what I had to do to try to keep my lead and uh, and win the race. Pin it to win it. That's right. That's what we do. Glenn Helen, Bo Barron, winner of seventh round Works Racing World Off Road Championship Series. Uh, I tell you what, Gary, it was an excellent race today. Really exciting, and this is what we come racing for right here. You know, uh, here at the Glen Helen track, it was just awesome motocross track. I went, went to the first turn, our fourth, and uh, I think Bo Barron, uh, Mark Holtz, and a couple others are there in front of me, and I was able to maneuver my way up past a couple of them when I went into the, out in the back section on in second place right behind Bo Barron, and, uh, and the race was on from that point. Me and him was just dicing it out everywhere, and uh, he was getting crazy. You really had to have your suspension dialed out there today and be smart. But uh, me and Bo, like I said, we were just battling it out. A couple of times ran up on his tires and just came with just inches of just smashing my car up, you know, cartwheeling. But but it all we all it all pulled through, and uh, then I realized, you know, hey, I got a points lead. I need to extend it. So I was like, you know, on the second, next to the last lap, I said, look, buddy, I just had to back it down. But still running hard in case he had some issues with another rider, and I'd be there to cabbage on it. But I just slowed down, tried to drive with a little more sense, and uh, just brought it home in a second. And here is your Class 1 Pro UTV leaderboard. And here is your Class 2 UTV leaderboard. And here is your Class 3 UTV leaderboard. This is Kane Smead from Dirt Wheels Magazine and you're watching In The Works. 